Good morning, it is Tuesday the 16th of October and I've just got into my taxi heading to Kathmandu Airport where I'll be getting a flight to Lukla to start the trek to Everest Base Camp. Let's go. said fourth flight. I have no idea which flight that is. I don't know whether the first or second flight's already gone. But, um, there's a lot of tourists waiting. They've got all their like huge backpacks and I'm here with my tiny little mountain gear pack. And they seem to have so much stuff but I know I know I've got enough. So um, yeah I don't know I think I've got to wait like an hour and maybe uh, go back to the desk and try again. So the current time is 8.07 in the morning. I'm gonna get back to the desk at nine and see where we're at. Okay, I've been waiting here for about um, five hours and they've just cancelled all of the flights to Lukla. Um, because it's too cloudy and it's a bit of a dangerous flight they've cancelled, so in a way that's kind of good, but what I'm gonna do now is maybe get a flight to Fablu, or Fatblu I think it's called, and then uh, just get a helicopter to Lukla from there. I think it's safer, um, and they said that's possible, but they gotta get at least 10 to 15 people on the flight in order for them to release the actual flight. So, we're gonna see how that goes. Okay, so I just checked um, if the flight to Fab Blue is still going and even that's been cancelled. Um, so I'm kind of like, I don't really care how I get there. I don't really like mind how much it costs as long as it's not like ridiculously expensive. I've got enough money to kind of get me there via a helicopter straight from here and then I'll get my refund on the flight. So I'm just looking at getting a helicopter from this company here. So with a bit of luck, might be able to get straight on a helicopter right now. So I'll touch base in a moment. Okay, boarding pass intact. Going through security and I'll show you when we get on the helicopter.
So uh, just arrived in Lukla, just had the most incredible uh, helicopter ride. Yeah. I, I'm actually really glad the flight was cancelled um, <laughs> and it was worth every single penny. This is my guide. Can you say your name? Yeah, my name is Karsan Taman. This is my guide for the yeah. next two weeks. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to uh, yeah, have some tea and then uh, make a start, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So we are just leaving uh, Lukla now. All of the buildings look really new been recently built. Just eating some fried noodles with vegetables so I'm going completely vegetarian, no meat up here. And then uh, we're gonna make our way to Pukting. How long is the trek to Pukting? Pukting. Uh, Pukting, how long? Three hours. Three hours trek to Pukting. So I'm gonna take some footage and show you guys the trek. about half an hour maybe done 1.9 miles uh, the temperature is really cool it's currently 10 past 5 in the afternoon the ground is like big rocks little rocks big steps definitely my new balance minimus sh shoes would not have been too comfortable on this so uh, yeah good so far already I've seen people coming back from base camp uh, they said it was amazing uh, they didn't get sick which was good and um, they said have a good trip so yeah on we go hi everyone so it's 10 to 9 and this is where I'm staying for the night uh, it's called the Trekkers Lodge in uh, Phak Ding it's called and uh, it's very basic. We just had a meal of um, just fried potatoes uh, with some vegetables. I even had a shot of rum, which was uh, well deserved after such a long day. <clears throat> um, I didn't film after my last cut because it got dark really quickly and this camera's not very good in the low light. So um, yeah, I'm gonna knuckle down for the night and end this video here. Um, I'm going to be making a video about each day from now up until the time that I get to Everest Base Camp. Here's the plug, do subscribe for those videos. Um, I'm going to make them at least one a day once I get back from uh, this trek. So I'm going to say goodnight now and I'll see you guys in the next episode.